two years and everything hits the crapper. That'll teach you to die on me. <laughs> okay. Um. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Mass Effect 2, where Joker had that inspiring line for us. <sighs> Mom could see me now. We'd have zombies on top of everything else. What? <laughs> so when do you make little these little remarks just out of the blue? Hang on, I think I think my Xbox freaking out. Why is it always claws and guns? <laughs> Can't we piss off a fuzzy planet? Still dangerous, but hey, bunnies. But hey, bunnies! <laughs> stop! Stop being funny, Joker. Something's going on with the microphone. Okay, it looks like we're back to the homemade uh, microphone stand with a box and a friggin' friggin' footstool thing. Because I could, like, see my Xbox, the sounds my Xbox are making on the audio again. But that was fun. It doesn't do that very often anymore. But yeah, I've heard of that line. I've never actually heard him say it, though. Also, I've been messing with the audio. So let me know how it is. I, I mean, I've been messing with it in the hard recording itself. And then I'm also kind of messing with it in the editing. So I'm trying to kind of increase the volume. Because I've noticed that my Let's Plays are really quiet. Like my voice and the game itself. I get to turn up the volume all the way just to hear it at a normal level. So... That's good, that's good. Alright, last I knew. Anyway, wait, let's see. Did we I don't even I don't even remember. It has been a while. Commander. Uh, I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured okay. my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. Okay, 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 okay. Uh squad. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. It seems like Garrus has finally worked that stick out of his butt, but now he's trying to beat guys to death with it. I can't believe I like the old Garrus better. I like Kasumi, but why do I feel like I need to check the Citadel for parts she may have pawned? Oh, yeah. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading around. Yeah, I can't even remember. So, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more That's we could upgrade. Crew. You have to ask a That's people it for now. Then. See you, Commander. Yeah, no, it is. It has actually been quite a while. Oh, sorry, sorry. Since I've recorded anything, because I've actually, as I, I don't know if I've said it in this one or not, but in my other let's plays I've been out of work because of bad weather so what else am I gonna do but play video games all day so I actually play quite far ahead and I haven't quite caught up yet to uploading where this one's at but I'm close enough that I don't feel too bad so plus I know that we we acquired Thane Krios last time that was what we did I have vague hazy memories of that finally being accomplished. I don't even do a Commander, you've received I, a new I, I message have? at your oh, private right. terminal. Well, go look at it then. Oh, uh, freaking this. Oh, of course I'd read this now, right before I go talk to Thane. Shepard, I'm sorry for us head back on Horizon. I spent two years pulling myself back together after you went down with the Normandy. It took me a long time to get over my guilt for surviving and moving and move on. I'd finally let my friends talk me into going out for drinks with the doctor in the Citadel. Nothing serious, but trying to let myself have a life again, you know? Then I saw you, and everything pulled hard to port. You were standing in front of me, but you were Cerberus. I guess I really don't know who either of us is anymore. Do you remember that night before Ilos? The, that night meant everything to me. Maybe it meant as much to you, but a lot has changed in the last two years, and I can't just put that aside. But please be careful. I've watched too many people close to me uh, close to me die. On Eden Prime, on Vermeer, on Horizon, on the Normandy. I couldn't bear it if I lost you again. If you're still the woman I remember, I know you'll find a way to stop these collector attacks, but Cerberus is too dangerous to be trusted. Watch yourself. When things have settled down a little, maybe, I don't know. Just take care. Gee, thanks! Thank you, Caden! I appreciate it! Like, seriously, like, I, I, the whole scene with Caden on Horizon, I was like, okay, I understand disappointing but I'm not gonna dwell on it and then I got this letter and I was like fine I can see where your problems are and then like like as I kept play the longer I was playing the more I was like I'm not okay with this like you kind of broken my heart I didn't realize it until just now but you did so I'm I'm very sad <laughs> um oh wow Robin Reeve. 
Is this, um... Oh, is this at, uh, is that Horizon? The Alliance soldier here, so Caden. Huh. Tell me anything. I know, right? I wish I could. I think I can just, like, read these things. I can't really do anything with them. My dog is, like, sniffing around me because he's mad at me right now because I've locked him in my room. Which is why I'm kind of distracted, and I'm also, like, really nervous to go talk to Thane, so... I'm, like, not really nervous, but I'm kind of nervous, you know? Commander, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yes. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. Oh, did he leave it all with Chamber? Okay. I always have time for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. But... Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. Ping. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back. The ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing ten years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck, see if it's legit. If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, we at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Hmm. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. <laughs> and whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows with that bunch? He's like, mm -mm. No, go lay down. I just noticed that we're like, Mimicking each other's postures right now. Shepard and Jacob. Okay, hopefully my dog. I've locked him out. Hopefully he'll be fine. Or not bark at everything. Um, I just want to curl up in a blanket and play some Mass Effect 2. I just want to go explore some planets and shoot some things. Is that so much to ask? So much to ask. Let me just make a bunch of noise. Um, I've got today's videos uploaded already. Two-thirds of the way done with tomorrow, so I just want to play. You didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. I've had ten years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, the dynamics of, you know, the world, the universe in the future. Finding an uncharted planet that's actually habitable, though. That's a whole other bucket of worms. Well, heck yeah, Jacob. I'm planning on exploring anyway. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close hey, the Hey, I'm a pro with dusty old bones. I find those. Actually, I haven't found those yet, but I'm working on it. Aya. 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 Uh, I'm so freaking nervous. <laughs> I don't know if I'm nervous. My heart is beating very quickly, though. I'm such an idiot. Such an idiot. Shepard, how can I help? Uh, looks like we're good. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Thanks, Morden. I appreciate it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I'm excited. 
Uh, should we, uh, uh, did we die? talk to you? Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper, though. Mm, she, she's crazy. <laughs> you have worries about Jack? I know she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. Indeed. I'll do my best not to piss her off. <laughs> Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, what's up? Yeah, good luck with Is that. Is there anything I should know? Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Jack would like to see you down in her hidey hole on the engine. In a hidey hole? Anything else, Commander? Okay. That'll be all. Everyone I'll be wants here to if see you me. Need anything. I'm surprised she doesn't. Jack she. Would like to talk to you, Commander. Okay. Um. Let's hang on. Let's see. How may right. I help you, Commander? Never That'll mind. Be all. I'll be here if you need Surprised anything. Surprised she didn't say anything about Thane. Maybe I missed that. Maybe I didn't talk to her after getting Jack, and so it just kind of skipped to her. Whew. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Recording. You better work. You better work. Oh, I mean, I've tried to check and see if I have Zaid's DLC somewhere that's just not downloaded properly. Because it's not in a, I can't buy it. It's not on the list of buyable DLC. I think I downloaded it once, eight, or I got it ages ago, and I should download all the way. Okie dokie, I'm so freaking excited. <laughs> I've got the butterflies. Yes, I do. Do you need something? Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, let's chat. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Let's just get yes. that out of the way. I thought you'd want to know more. Uh, you don't just... have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keprel Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. I freaking I don't know how they haven't the Hanar of all people. How can they not have cured this already? Like, ugh. It drives me up a wall. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Uh, is it... Well, why can't they... I'm sure there's plenty of arid planets out there they could rehabitate. Like, why can't they... I mean, I know it's expensive, but if the Hanar are helping them, like... I don't know. There has to be a desert planet somewhere nearby. They don't just have to change their genetic code. Like, why can't they just get a, an arid planet? Or go live on a planet. They could go live on Earth. Like, the deserts here are pretty dang arid. And nobody, like, lives in them. <laughs> so, sure, they could find something. But how oh, it's all expensive and politics and stuff. Yeah, it's like, here's this romance option for you. But just so you know, he's dying. Just stick yourself in that knowingly. Are you going to be all right till the end of the mission? I should be fine for another 8 to 12 months. The more time I spend in humid environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so weird. This is so weird. It is so weird to see him again. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar illuminated primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt her ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. To be slowly suffocated, too, like... 
No wonder he'd rather go on a suicide mission, you know? I'd rather die doing something, too, rather than laying in bed suffocating to death. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We do. Before we do the, inf the formal things, we'll talk about... The Drill live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. <laughs> I find that they can take a name too. Yeah, we, I don't know. We we can talk about like um, like the drill and the Hanar and and like the religion and stuff. We don't talk, at least in the beginning, we don't talk a whole lot about the fact that he's actually an assassin. You know, I don't think. I mean, this is only this is only a second time romancing him, so uh, we'll see. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. I think that would be a nice trade, you know? When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. Kalahira. Oh my gosh, this is bringing back so many memories. So many feels! I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? No. The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. They can though. Like it's 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 like looking at like human mythology. Like it's a like the stuff that's lasted through the generations of thousands of years. They are stories that are like sort of almost embedded in like our the, our cultural sense of self like there's a reason there are classic novels and mythology that's lasted it's like these are stories that can sort of they can keep their origin and like their original like tellings but they also adapt and they're quite flexible actually for modern retellings and people very much enjoy those. They enjoy modern retellings of myths and stuff like that. And religion is different, but, you know, it tends to be, like, you know, one or two big religions or whatever. They tend to, like, overshadow any smaller ones. Like, there are, I think, um, very few, if any, really, that are polytheistic. I mean, except for Hindu. I think Hindu Hinduism is still practiced. You know, it is, but... Um, I don't know, I don't know, unfortunately, I don't know a whole lot about, you know, Eastern religions and lifestyles and stuff, but I really like the Asari philosophies and the Drell stuff, like, it's just, it's cool, like, I don't know why, but I, I like the idea of, like, the polytheism, it's just more interesting, it's like, it's like each god is a facet of its culture that created it, you know, and so it tells you about the people, it tells you about the individual and, and, and the cultural values and stuff and I, I very much enjoy that. I think it's it's much more interesting than just like a Dragon Age, like there's the maker, right? It, it's pretty boring. Like I, I don't know, I, and I don't like, I'm not a fan of the maker, so that's, that I, 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 I hold grudge. I hold a grudge against him. Not even that, I don't hold a grudge against him. I just don't like the way that he is portrayed. Perhaps it's that. Maybe he's actually a nice guy. I don't like the way he's portrayed. Sounds like a douchebag. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider. The ocean is full Consider. of life. Yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land. Accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. 
The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. I love it. I love the way that he explains things. I mean, I might have to actually cut out when I actually cut. I, I come in here and talk to him, like, every time. Like, even if it's a repeat. Like, I do that with most people, but, like, I just love the way he talks and explains things. And right now, like, Shepard and Thane, like, they're just trying to kind of get the... Like, he's being very formal, and she's kind of curious, you know. But all, when I played through the first time, I actually, like, I wanted a Thane. Or when I played through with, Shep, with the, my female Shepard the first time, I wanted a romance Thane. But I just gotten that letter from Caden, you know, and I was I was I was dealing with the fact that I was actually broken hearted and like Shepherd kinda of, I feel like was a little bit like she knew, but it's still painful that's the thing, is like I kinda of figured something was gonna have not gonna work out really well, but there's always like a little bit of hope and it's always a little bit painful when it doesn't work when you know, it's just when that kind of a thing happens and so she was dealing with that, and by talking to Thane, she was able to, like, slowly kind of, you know, ac accept it more fully, the fact, what, what had happened to her for the, the fact that she was basically dead for two years, the fact that Caden has basically moved on, and even though he still, like, is very upset about things, you know, but being, hearing Thane talk and being in his presence is very peaceful. He's a tranquil... He's a trick. He's an ocean in the midst of like you know. He's the eye of the storm, you know. And so he's just, I don't know. And I think this is one of the, I don't know if this is the place where the ship is actually the loudest on the sh on when if, if the if the engines are loudest here or not. But I tend to hear them more here than than I do anywhere else. So I don't know. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? What? No. Like, why would... No. I just asked you for help, and now I'm like, no. Let's see what they've got. Let's see. I don't remember. Um, it's not that, is it? I could get that, though. That's good. I might have to get that. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, we'll research that. Modular probe bay. Do you need something? You mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. You have any leads I could chase down? I've already upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no additional suggestions. Interesting that that would be what he... His upgrade. Like, everybody else's kind of makes a little more sense for, like, what they do. He's not really... He's not... An engineer. He has warp and, um... I don't... Does he have concussion shot? I can't remember. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Ask. <laughs> oh, God. Um, never mind, apparently. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. Him and somebody else we get later. I, I really... Books? Oh, is that... Um, that's, uh, Kasumi's place. But sometimes I just, like, I just, like, come in here and, like, I don't know. It's my favorite view of, like, the heart of the ship, too. I don't know. He just chose a really good place. Like, this is, like... I don't know, I feel like, wow, I feel like I got really tall. Oh, I did, okay, it's the camera, okay. The camera's up high. But, like, he's got, like, a little cot, and, like, he keeps his weapons here. Like, it's all very neat, but it's all something that can be picked up very quickly, you know? But I like that he's got, like, a little desk and a mug and a lamp. But, like, he's just staring at, like, he's meditating, but he's just staring at the heart of the ship, and he's got, like, the best view, I think. Everybody else's is kind of... Their view of the ship is a little bit to the side, but his, it's the whole focus is, because like, and because you can hear the engines a little bit better, I think, it's just, a, it's, an, it's an environment very suitable for reflection, you know, like, or like just to be by yourself with your thoughts or without your thoughts, like, to just be in solitude. But this, see ya, yeah, the, uh, the engines are louder in that room. I mean, they're pretty loud out here. Mm. 
No, I think they do get louder when you're closer to the window. Man, like, like you guys might get sick of me, but like, I am, I am extremely sentimental when it comes to pain. So I'm just. If you've seen my Mass Effect Three playthrough, after a certain point, there's. Yeah, yeah. I tend to go in that room. Hey, Shepard. Ah, yeah. Liara Tassoni's got quite a reputation. Right. I've done business with her people before. Mess Sergeant Gardner might just be an evil genius. Emphasis on the evil. The food's gotten better lately, though. <laughs> I guess his reputation will take time to heal. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm okay. sure I'll have more to talk about. It's funny that she brought up Liara. I kind of blew Liara off, because I was like... I just, like, ran there. I guess, yeah, so we did... Like, it seriously has been a while, you guys. I... I apologize. Um did you hear? Another colony went missing. Fair builds, yep. Garris, what do you think? Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? I hate Gonna you. Wait for a bit. I hate I'm you. In the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garris. I'll be here if you need me. Um, can I- I can't check my crew from here, right? I have to actually- maybe we'll go up to my room and see if my fish are alive. I know we have to talk to Miranda, but I don't want the recording to get too terribly long. I'm kind of keeping an eye on it, because recently I was having some- having some troubles. The new 3.0 update doesn't like it if I go too much longer than 45 minutes, so... 45 seems like a weird time. I don't know. Either be an hour or be half an hour, you know? But we'll probably get we'll probably be close to that though. Close to 45. Good to feed the fishies. Uh oh I gotta go do upgrades too. That's that's something to do. See? Still there. Still kinda hurting. Um team status. Right, I did. I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I got it recently or what. Oh, they're like coming into focus a little bit, like brightening up. But I did get Garrus. I did get the appearance pack where Garrus has a new appearance. Obviously, I'm not sure if that's like red or pink. I do like his blue armor, but I think we'll we'll see what that one looks like. I don't, I don't actually know what it looks like, so. But Morden, is there like another one? Is, was Morden not included in the appearance pack? I like Morden's though. I think when you get his loyalty, you, it's like more black. I'm not quite sure. Let's see what. Holy crap, Grunt! Yeah, Grunt was included on it too. You and Garrus kind of match. Um, Thane has another one. I don't like it. I don't like that one. I, I call me weird, but I like to see his eyes. I like the suit. I don't. Like, I like the color change. I don't like the weird eye thing. Yeah, we'll give Jack that. I think she actually looks really cool in that. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, cause they, the, some of these guys get three appearances once I get their loyalty, but we'll see. I've never actually played with her in this, so I'll, I will check it out. We'll see how it is. Because I, I do like her tattoos, so I'm like, eh, but, you know. We'll see. It's nice to kind of change things up a little bit. So, yeah, I know in Mass Effect 1, you could open, you could see out uh, the ship in certain places, but it never looked like the stars were moving, and there was never any of this, like, you know, like, warp speed stuff going on which now now the kind of the stars are they're kind of twinkling in the background but they're also moving just a little bit like you can what you can pick one dot and stare at it and eventually it will kind of disappear like to the back so i do like that i like that that i like that attention to detail and i like seeing the whoosh because it makes me feel like i'm i'm actually moving through space and not not just floating around Let's see, we did. Okay, maybe, okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna do, do some upgrades really quick, maybe. Uh, Cause I know I gotta go downstairs, and I gotta, I gotta talk to 
for sure I gotta talk to Jack and I gotta talk to Miranda. But I've talked to basically everyone else. And we're gonna need to talk to Grunt, too. So, I don't think I've ruined things by rushing to the second half, but we'll take our time at this point. Jack would like to talk with you. Oh yeah, I was like, wah! Upgrades! No! Oh, do I only need palladium? Oh no, I need damage protection. I thought I got a damage protection. Maybe not. Maybe we'll have to go shopping. Okay, uh, prototype? Oh, I did, I retrained my powers, didn't I? I have a barrier now, instead. I, have, I don't think I've, I don't think I've played too much with that. So, what does the heavy muscle weave need? I just need more palladium. Okay, I need a ton of more palladium and platinum. I just need everything except element zero, really. We'll get the uh, SMG shield piercing, though. Sniper rifle, platinum, iridium, iridium, iridium. Yeah. I think the. Oh, that needs damage, 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 damage. And that just needs platinum. Platinum and palladium, for sure. But also more iridium. Alright, I'm excited. I do want to get these upgrades going, so this this will be fun. Um anyway. I'm gonna go back as per my usual for some reason and stand here. Yes, I know, shut up. Jack would like to talk with you, Commander. Um, uh, but yes, thank you guys for joining me. Uh sorry that nothing action packed happened in this one, but it's freaking freaking fantastic to have Thane on board. <laughs> It's gonna be a little bit weird. I might be a little bit weird, but <laughs> I love it. This is fun. I love these games. They're so fun. But um, again, thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.